In order to prep our external hard drive, we need to use a command line tool called DiskPart. And yes, it's a command line tool, but I think that over time, once you become more familiar with the command line, you'll also agree and come to realize that certain things are actually just quicker and it's just much more efficient to be using a command line interface. It is important to note, however, that we do need to run this as administrator. OK, so let's go into disk part. We can now start to issue it commands. And the first command we want to issue is list disk. Here we can see I have two physical disks connected to my disk subsystem. And in my case, the 111 gig, I know that to be my external drive uh, connected as disk number two. I can now select that disk by issuing the command select disk followed by the drive letter or the drive number. We have the disk selected. I can now list the partitions on that drive by issuing the command list partition. And there we can see I have one primary partition listed as partition number one. In order to remove that partition, I need to select it first. And it follows a similar pattern. Select, but now it's a partition, followed by the number, in my case one. I have the partition selected. I can therefore now delete it. Delete partition. Right, the partition is deleted. I now need to create a new primary partition. Excuse me. I spelling. And it's primary because it's going to be bootable. There we go. I now need to select that partition. And I know it's going to be partition number one. I've got it selected. I now need to set it as an active partition. Great. I now need to format that partition. The file system is going to be NTFS. And I want to do a quick format. Now, this is a very small drive, so this should happen quite rapidly. And there we go. I now need to assign the drive. But I'm not going to assign a physical letter. I'm just going to let uh, Windows take care of that automatically. And there we go. And you can see it's popped up here and it's assigned. And in my case, it's assigned it as drive I. OK, now we can exit disk part. And of course, we can exit our command line. So that's it. We've wiped the external drive um, and we've prepped it. It's now ready for us to take the next step which is moving the Windows image across to that drive, which we'll do in the next section.